Welcome back. I'm Chris Sequora, and I'm going to step you through exercise 10, Inventor, our SIM IMT 110 class. Uh, this, uh, today's lesson is actually going to be involved with uh, modeling a very simple part, actually, and then preparing to have it cut on a CNC lathe. And we're going to use Mastercam once again. So last week we saw, we just scraped the surface of Mastercam milling, uh, we're going to take a look at a lathe project today. And so, uh, as you can see here, this is a cylindrical part, and that's perfect for the lathe. Um, the intent is we're going to model it up inside Inventor, and then we're going to bring it into Mastercam. Now, this isn't Mastercam. This is another product called SolidWorks. But basically, I'm just using it as an example because I have this file already on here of a Haas uh, TL1 basically a tool room lathe. And we have a, uh, two of these at the college that I work at. And so um, you can see this is the control panel right here. Uh, your USB, you could stick your USB stick in there with your programs and load it up. And there's the you know emergency stop and uh, all the settings and view screen that you might need, that you'll definitely need when running the part. But anyhow, as you can see here, here's the chuck, and we have uh, our part mounted in the three-jaw chuck, and I have a transparent version over it, what the stock is going to look like before we cut it. So, um, and the reason I have that is so you can see, you want to be very careful. You don't want to crash your tools into the stock before it's ready. So we're going to go in and make sure that when it does, it's going to chisel away, basically cutting away at this geometry layer after layer until we have this nice form that it creates. Now there's additional steps like cutoffs and things like that. I might actually have you do that part um, on your own, but for the most part, I'm gonna get you through the roughing and, and the finishing here. So let's begin. All right, the drawing, I'll either have it for you or I'll send it to you or I'll have it in the book, either, either way, it's gonna look like this. And so we can see it's uh, four and a half inches in, di uh, in length, three inch diameter. And then there's these little uh, features that are on here. So let's begin. Now there's a couple ways you could build this. You could build this um, with sketches and a revolve, or you can actually build it um, with extrusions. So we're gonna build it with the sketches because that's probably the easiest. So up in Inventor, just go to new standard eye part and hit create. Select Start 2D Sketch. Now, we want to work on the XY plane because with the lathe, you're primarily working on the XY. You're not really working on the Z unless you're in a multi-axis machine, which we don't, we don't have that uh, on the two lathes that we have. Go to XY. And now we're going to go ahead and select the line tool. And the diameter is three inches, so we only want to go about one and a half inches up here. So I just zoomed out a little bit, got approximately there, drew this across. This is about a half inch, and then it goes uh, down like this, across a little bit, maybe about an inch or so. And then uh, there's a taper on it, and then out another inch, and then just um, straight down and then close it, get all the way over on the other side. Now we're gonna to go to the line tool again, make sure line is selected and draw center line out here so that we could get diameter dimensions off of this for the lathe. So go to dimension, select that. Oh, make sure you turn off center line too. I always forget to do that on this. And oops, I'm gonna hit escape. Let's uh, make sure that's, up. Oh, click on that, make sure it's activated. There we go, and then hit Escape and then click on that to turn off. My apologies. Okay, go to dimension, the center line, to this line. You see we get the three inch diameter. Let's go back to our print. And we can see a half inch and four and a half overall. So we could do this one right here. It's going to be 0.5. Zoom up from here to here. So be 4.5. And And we have 1.75 for this diameter from here to here. So dimension to your center line. It's 1.75. And then it's one inch for that post in the front. So from here to the center line again. And 
and 30 degrees. So let's go ahead and dimension here to the center line. And now you see you're not going to get 30 degrees because it's only one half. So just type in 15, hit enter. And then back to the print, one and a half inches right here. Okay, now we have to put the fillets on. So the fillets are going to be a half inch there and one inch there. So go to this fillet tool, so type in 0.5, select that corner there. Type in one here and select this corner here. And you could hit finish sketch because we're ready to revolve it. So go to revolve boss and hit OK. Oh, and uh, we could put the chamfer in now. Put a chamfer and the chamfer is called on at 0.125 by 45. So we could just go ahead and select that edge. And there it is. Go ahead and go to file, save as, and let's save this as E10. Save it where you know you're going to be able to find it. Okay, and now we're going to bring it into Mastercam. Now, in Mastercam, this is what we're going to look to do. Once we have it in here, I just want to show you the simulation here. We're going to have Mastercam simulate it, cutting it down just like that. All right, so let me close that. Oops, here we go, and I'm going to just go to open and make sure you're set to Autodesk Inventor Files and go ahead and select your E10 and hit open. Okay, the first thing we need to do is set up the stock. Uh, well, actually first set up the machine. So go up to machine and click on lathe and default. And I hit the little plus symbol next to the properties and click on stock setup. And from the stock setup, first of all, you can go to tool settings. Uh, let's go ahead and change our, let's go to select and mill li uh, lathe library. Let's see what we have. We'll go with 6061 again with the green check. And now uh, go to stock setup. And right here, we're going to go with the left spindle and properties. And as far as this goes, um, we're going to go type in 3.25 because our stock we're estimated is, uh, well, the, the size that we're cutting this down to is going to be three inches. So our stock should be a little bit larger than that. Okay. And then the length, we're going to have a seven inch bar. And then we're just cutting off that four, first four and a half inches. We need that extra material on the, up, the end to hold in the chuck. And then the uh, position along Z at, or axis, just leave it as at the default. Okay, hit the green check and go ahead and hit it again, the green check. Now we can see our stock preview is that border there. Notice our parts out of it. Well, that's because we modeled to the right of the origin inside Inventor and that's fine because there's a transform tool that's gonna to enable us to move this over. So if you find transform, find translate, and now select the model and hit end selection. Then over here, go to move because you don't want it to copy it. Um, and then the delta will be minus 4.5. So it's gonna, we're gonna move it towards that way. And just hit the green check mark up here. And now you can see it's within limits. Also, when we added that additional material, look at we have a little space there, additional material that we put in when we plugged in those numbers. Okay, now from here, we first have to face the front. Uh, facing basically means to cut it smooth. So to do that, go ahead and click right here next to this red arrow and then right click and go to Lathe Toolpaths. And we're gonna go ahead and find Face. All right, and on the Face tools, let's go with the uh, tool number 12 here. And we're gonna, we could adjust some of these feed and speed rates um, for the, so the uh, feed rate, we'll put that at 5,000 of an inch. 
The spindle speed, let's go ahead and make that 500 and the uh, max spindle speed, we'll put that 4,000. And then go ahead and turn your coolant on and make sure it's set to flood. Okay, so from there, we could go now to phase parameters and we could uh, set the entry amount at 20 thousandths. And that's where it's going to start above the part. And then turn on rough step over, turn off finish. And the rough step over, we'll go ahead and set that to 0.02. And the stock to leave, let's leave um, 5 thousandths of an inch for the finishing cut later. All right, and we could go ahead and hit the green check. And now you can actually see the toolpath, that little yellow line with the blue line. Now we're gonna add another one here. Let's go to right click and lathe toolpath. So as you right click there, lathe toolpaths and go to can. And we talked a little bit about can cycles in one of the videos um, that I put a link to. Um, when we were talking about uh, hand programming, but let's go with canned rough here. And now we'll just go ahead and select this, uh, zoom up, let's select this edge. And the arrows, most of the arrows, the green and red arrows should be pointing up, about 45 degrees in the upper left there. If they're not, this little switch over here could reverse them. But what you want to do is zoom out here. Uh, also, you could check on the view solids or show solids here, just so you can see this. It might be a little easier to see that way. And see this red arrow forward? As long as those arrows are pointing, just like mine, hit forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And that should actually give you the whole path. So go ahead and hit the green check from there. So let's just go ahead and from here, we can now select the same tool. We'll use the same one. Once again, the number 12 tool that we had. Uh, that way we don't have to force a tool change, but basically we're not going to put that in the program. So leave that off. Let's set the uh, spindle speed. Let's bump that up to 500 and again, uh, 4,000 for the max spindle speed. Now go ahead and hit can text. Um, uh, actually, that's, uh, sorry, that's not what we want. Yeah, actually what I meant to hit was the canned rough parameters. So make sure you hit that button. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and for the stock to leave, we'll leave um, 30 thousandths on that surface. Okay, and so basically, as far as the stock to leave on the Z, we'll go ahead and add 15 thousandths there. And then the exit length, let's go ahead and put in five, uh, 50 thousandths on that as well. Notice the G71 output here. This is showing you a little preview of the code, just like we saw with hand calc. Uh, and develop calculations, G71. Um, if you go ahead and if you go ahead and hit the extend contour to stock, you could actually see it updates the X, that's the thickness of the stock, to a quarter inch there. And last but not least, go ahead and click on lead in and out. With the lead in, we're going to go ahead and um, we'll leave an extended amount of 0.1, about 100 thousandths over. And the lead in, a lead out, I should say, we'll leave uh, 150. And go ahead and hit the green check and hit the green check. All right, and there's our path. So let's take a look at this. Now, um, you could rotate with the middle mouse button at this point and go ahead and click, uh, first of all, up at the top here, click on this little icon to select all operations. And now you could hit on verify selected operations. And let's rotate this down a little bit. So we could, there's our tool. And we could go ahead and hit slow this down a little bit because it does go rather fast and hit play. There you can see the facing operation and then the rough cut. And you'll see how rough it is. It actually leaves these little jagged edges there a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to move on to more of a finishing cut here. Um, so right click somewhere on the screen and go to top, brings you, you back here. And let's go ahead and hide the, uh, first of all, go to select all operations and let's hide 
those uh, toolpaths just for right now. We can bring them back later and we want to see them. We'll move on to the next step here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do the finish cut here. So right click on that little block right next to the red arrow again, go to lathe toolpaths and find finish. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to go back and select that, zoom up to it maybe, click on that. And as long as those arrows are pointing in the right direction, again, uh, I'm going to turn on show solid so we can see this and hit the little red arrow forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I know with the wireframe mode, there is a way to select the old one and the solid mode. I don't, I haven't figured that out yet here, but um, anyway, go ahead and hit the green check. And now let's say um, you don't see the tool that you wanted to use for this particular operation. We can actually create custom tools at this point. You could right click on this and um, let's see, go to tool manager and then cl right click on this and find copy tool and right click and paste tool. And it's just going to give you a warning. That's all right. Just hit okay. And it's going to make a copy of that tool. So you can just double click on that. And now uh, we want a 1 32nd corner radius for the head or the nose. Uh, let's go over here to um, notice we could change the inserts and all the, all the interesting stuff there. But uh, as far as the holder goes, let's go ahead and make this. Uh, I guess we could leave it all the same pretty much. Go to parameters. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and set uh, the feed rate because it's a finish. Let's set it to 0 0.6 thousandths of an inch. And we'll go ahead and make sure our um, spindle speed. We'll go ahead and set that to 1,000 RPMs. Or see, uh, because it's. All right. And this, let's see, and one, the spindle speed. Oh, you know what? Uh, I apologize. I'm putting this in the wrong area. So we actually want to cancel that. All right. Okay. So um, I could, we could actually still add them in there, but just go ahead and hit the green check mark at this point. And what we can do over here is find that copy and notice it. You'll find it. It says copy slot one. Let's change the tool number to tool number 11. So it doesn't, uh, get confused when we apply this inside our program. So change the uh, tool number, station number, offset number to 11. And the feed rate, um, if you didn't change it already in the last one, go ahead and change it to 0 0.006, the spindle speed at 500. And we'll, again, we'll go 4,000 for the max spindle speed. Go ahead and hit the green check. And so now we'll go ahead and we'll simulate that. So go up here to the simulation, or verify selected operations. Oh, uh, cancel that for a second. We want to see everything. So go ahead and click on select all operations. Now go ahead and you can click on that little icon up there. And if you want to rotate this, so you get a better vantage point and hit play. And now we can see the, all the different processes, including cut. And there it is. Now there's other things like cutting, uh, using the cutoff tool at this point, and uh, we're going to cover that in another class period. But that concludes exercise 10.